Well, biotechnology is one of the top 10 growing industries in our nation, and there's a tremendous effort to attract these companies to Oklahoma. This summer, Governor Mary Fallon attended the Bio International Convention as part of a group promoting Oklahoma's growing bioscience industry, an industry whose growth will be dependent upon a steady stream of educated workers, which is where our Andy Barth picks up the story. Well, Rob, producing such a workforce is already underway in Ardmore, Oklahoma. That is where the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation and Southern Oklahoma Technology Center have created a biotechnology academy designed to give high school juniors and seniors a unique experience aimed at creating a workforce with the necessary skills to draw biotech companies to our state. They could be solving a crime or saving your child's life. But these up and coming scientists are still kids themselves and jumpstarting their careers in the vast world of bioscience. <laughs> Students need to know how Technology is used in a biological field. And that when you turn Janie it Harriet is a biotechnology instructor at Southern Oklahoma Technology Center Ouch. and says these students gain invaluable hands-on experience. It is basic for an understanding. Uh, even someone coming out of college with a bachelor's degree has the, the, the book knowledge, and if they've not had hands-on, they don't know how to apply that. Is what they would and do, this experience so. puts them ahead of the game when they get to college. A chemistry lab would run any once a week for two to three hours. Well, we have them five days a week for three hours a day. And for homeschool yeah, student me. Ethan Jansen, his alternative education, combined with classes at Southern Oklahoma Technology Center, is helping him dream big. It's an advantage, I think, because I have, you know, the public school, you know, trade school mixed in with the home school, so it makes learning easier sometimes to pursue my career goal, which is a biochemist. With hands-on applied learning. Lab instructor, Dr. Fiona McAllister. Give it a little vortex. They see the science and they see the application, and I think that comes in the math they have to do in here. All of a sudden, the algebra they're, make, they're taking at school makes sense. The chemistry they've had to take at school makes sense. And McAllister says whether her students are headed for college or the workplace, lessons yeah. learned here will pay off. That's the biggest thing, is seeing them increase in their confidence level with everything and how they approach everything. And whether they take this and they go into the science field or they go off into a humanities area or straight to the workforce, that's something that really sets them apart from their peers. Growing cultures in petri dishes while preparing for jobs in the biosciences. Now the lab went through a remodel recently. It was funded by the Technology Center, Southern Oklahoma Memorial Foundation, and the Noble Research Center. And we should note here how fortunate these students are to have the Noble Research Center so close because nationally it's widely regarded as one of the top bioscience foundations in the nation. That's right, Rob, and the students are very fortunate because the Noble Research Center and the Tech Centers have a partnership and allow the students to work with Noble Scientists while they're still in high school. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Andy.